This is another lesson for Math 6, and this time we will be talking about base and exponent. Tignan na example natin dito. Meron dito 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2. So, paulit-ulit na inad yung number 2. Now, pwede itong hindi na paulit-ulit na isulat. Okay? Pwede mo nilang gamitan yan ng multiplication. So, that is just 2 times 6. So, ibig sabihin, 6 na beses, i-add mo yung 6. Kaya, 2 times 6. Now, paano kung ito yung ipinakita? 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So, 6 na beses na multiply ang 2. Tama, di ba? So, meron bang shortcut na pwede dyan? Hindi mo na pwede sabihin 2 times 6 yan kasi uh, hindi ka nag-add eh. Multiply ka na eh. So, meron uh, ibang paraan para isulat ito and this is just equal to 2 raised to 6. So, ang paraan ng pagsulat nito is called exponential form. Right? And in this uh, exponential expression okay, or form, um, ang 2 dito serves as the base tawag natin dito is base at yung maliit na number is called the exponent and babasahin natin nito or, or we read this as 2 raised to 6 okay now meron bang ibang paraan para uh, basahin ang mga ganito exponential forms tignan natin sa susunod na example alright Alright, meron tayo ditong 4 raised to 5. And again, 4 is the base, and then 5 is the exponent. And we read this as 4 raised to the 5th power, so pwedeng ganon. And then, 4 to the power of 5, okay? And then, pwede 4 raised to 5. So, hindi lang isa ang pwedeng paraan para basahin ito, maraming paraan. So, lahat ng ito, okay, refers to this uh, exponential form. Okay? Uh, 4 raised to 5. So, lagi kong ginagamit is 4 raised to 5 kasi mas maiksi eh. No? Alright. Now, let's take a look at this another example. Ayan. So, again, in this one, 5 is the base and 2 is the exponent. And, this time, okay, merong ibang paraan para basahin ito. Bakit? Kasi, yung ano niya is 2 lang. And then, um, kapag uh, a number is multiplied by itself twice, um, tatawagin lang yan as squared. The number is squared. So, parang pareho sa mag uh, mag-compute ka ng uh, area. In computing the area, bibilangin mo ilang squares. And then, the unit there, uh, or uh, for example, if it's meter, meter times meter, so lalabas yung unit mo after computation of the area as meter squared or m squared. Diba? So, pareho lang din dito. So, since 2 ang nasa taas, 5 squared. So, um, usually, babasahin ito kapag 2 ang nasa taas as squared. So, 5 squared. And then, 5 raised to the second power. Okay, another way. And then, 5 to the power of 2 and then 5 raised to 2. So, ang apat na paraan na ito para basahin ito ay uh, ginagamit for this expression. Okay? Alright. How about kung 3 na ang nasa taas or 3 na ang exponent? So, again, this is the base, yung 7 and then yung exponent natin is 3. So, kung 3 na yung exponent, paano natin babasahin? So, parang pareho lang din doon sa uh, computing the um, area. Computing the area, dalawang uh, unit ang ita times mo. Meters times meters. Kapag tatlo na, di ba, multiply mo is tatlo na. Length, width, and height. And then, kung ang ginamit na unit is meter, that would be meter, me meter times meter times meter. So, tatlong Way. And then, tatawagin natin yung, um, or babasahin natin, or yung unit na yun sa um, finding the volume would be uh, cube. So, meters cube or cubic meter, ba? So, ganun din dito, ganun din ang pagbasa dahil tatlong beses natin i-multiply yung 7. So, babasahin to as 7 cubed. 
And then, pwede ring 7 raised to the third power. Pwede ring 7 to the power of 3. And then, 7 raised to 3. Okay? So, um, those special names works only for uh, exponent of 2 and then exponent na 3. Okay? So, the rest, ganito na mga gagamitin mo. Okay? Let's get the value of some exponential forms. Right? So, we have here 5 squared. So, in this case, kailangan mo i-multiply yung 5 ng dalawang beses. So, yung base is the number of uh, or the base is the number to be multiplied okay and then ito yung exponent ito yung magsasabi kung ilang beses i-multiply so since 5 ang base edi 5 times 5 kasi dalawang beses i-multiply and then the value of this would just be 25 right now if we have 2 raised to 5 that would be 2 i-multiply mo ng limang Beses. So, you have there 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And the value of this is 32. So, this is just equal to 32. Right? If it's 3 raised to 4, eh, di apat na beses lang din, i-multiply yung 3, di ba? So, you have there 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Now, kung sakali, kailangan yung mag-solve ng ganito, okay? Kung i-check nyo, pag nag-multiply ka ng 3 times 3, 9 times 3, 27 na. Then, times 3, hindi ka na makapagbigay ng madaling sagot, di ba? So, another way to do it is, ito muna dalawa. 3 times 3, 9. And then, itong dalawa din. 3 times 3, 9. E di madali na lang i-multiply ang 9 times 9, di ba? So, this is just 81. Ba? So, kahit i-ganun mo, pwede. Okay? Hanap ka ng paraan kung paano gawin. Now, we have here 11 squared. So, ano yung value ng 11 squared? So, dalawang beses mo lang i-multiply ang 11. So, this is equal to 11 times 11. And that is just equal to 121. So, what we're doing now is, kinuha natin yung value ng bawat exponential form. Okay? And ito lang yung value niya. Okay? After na tinimes mo yung basis ng paulit-ulit. Depende sa exponent. Alright? Alright. Now, ang uh, pinakamagandang gamitin ang exponential form is with the powers of 10. Uh, bakit? Tignan natin ha. Napakadali. Okay. If you say 10 squared, that is uh, multiplying 10 twice, di ba? Mumultiply mo yung 10 ng dalawang beses. So, that would be 10 times 10. And then, kung nahalata nyo, okay, the answer, which is 100, has two zeros. And then, this is number 2, ang exponent. Tignan natin if it works the same with the next one. Ayan. 10 cube. So, that would be, tatlong beses i-multiply ang 10, di ba? So, that would be 10 times 10 times 10. And that is equal to 1,000. Again, ilan ang zeros dito? Diba? 1, 2, 3, tatlo, diba? And then, tatlo rin dito. So, napakadali kahit hindi mo pala isulat ito, oh. Kuha mo na yung sagot, diba? Hmm, sige, isa pa nga. So, apat. Ayan, so you have there one, 10 times 10 times 10 times 10, kasi apat eh. And then, kung i-multiply mo yan lahat, that is just 10,000. And then again, bilangin mo ilang zeros. 1, 2, 3, 4. And this is 4. Kaya, kung 10 raised to 5 yan, eh di sulat mo na lang ganyan, diretso na sagot, ba? Madali na lang. And then, if you have 10 raised to 6, that would be 1 million, ba? Now, paano kung 10 raised to 1? Okay. 10 raised to 2, dalawang beses, ba? E di kung, oh, kung raised to 1, e di isa lang. So, that is just equal to 10. Wala ka nang i-multiply dyan, ba? Now, meron bang 10 raised to 0? Tignan natin with the following examples. Pupunta rin tayo dyan sa 10 raised to 0. Alright. So, let's have here... 10 raised to 4. So, since this is raised to 4, apat na 0, ba? So, this is 10,000. And then, 10 cube or 10 raised to 3. So, tatlong 3 at tatlong 0 pala. So, this is 1,000, ba? And then, yan Kung i-divide natin, yung 10 raised to 4 divided by 10 raised to 3. 
this is just equal to 10,000 over 1,000, di ba? Kasi 10 raised to 4 is 10,000. 10 raised to 3 is 1,000. And then divide natin. Cancel mo lang ito. Oh. Cancel yung tatlong zero. Cancel yung tatlong zero. So, this is just equal to 10. Tama, di ba? Alright. Now, take note. Di ba? 4 minus 3 is 1. So, this is just 10 raised to 1. Pareho lang, di ba? So, pwede ka palang mag-minus na lang dyan, di ba? So, tignan natin, ha? Okay. 10 raised to 4 over 10 raised to 3 is just equal to 10 raised to 4 minus 3. Kasi, nag-minus ka lang, o. Oh, nagiging 10 raised to 1 na lang yan. So, this is just equal to 10 raised to 1 and that is equal to 10. So, tama naman kasi 10 raised to 1. Isa lang naman, di ba? Wala kang i-multiply na iba, isa lang. Kaya, ang sagot mo, 10 lang. Di ba? So, ibig sabihin, tama lang itong ginawa natin. Di ba? Kasi, 10 raised to 1 is actually 10 naman eh. So, i-ano lang natin to, i-subtract lang natin ito kapag division ang nakita mo. Okay, so this is actually one of the rules in exponents. Okay, pero we'll have another example for this one. So, 10 raised to 1 is just 10. So, 10 raised to 4 over 10 raised to 3 is just equal to 10 raised to 4 minus 3. Minus mo lang dalawa. At pwede lang mangyayari yan kapag ang base ay pareho. Since parehong 10 yan, minus mo na lang pwede ka nang makakuha ng sagot. Okay? Now, here, we have here 10 raised to 3 over 10 raised to 3. This is just 1,000, di ba? Ito rin 1,000. So, that is 1,000 over 1,000. Now, since pareho yung number sa taas at saka sa baba, this is just equal to 1. Tama, di ba? Now, kung i-apply natin yung ginawa natin uh, kanina, na, If you divide this, tapos pareho yung um, ano niya, base niya, i-minus na lang natin, di ba? So, you have there 10 raised to 3 minus 3, di ba? So, 3 minus 3 is 0. Tama, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, 10 raised to 3 minus 3 is just equal to 10 raised to 0. So, 10 raised to 0 is just equal to 1. Kasi, alam na natin yung sagot nito. Ang sagot nito is just equal to 1. So, if you raise 10 to 0, this is just equal to 1. Diba? So, ibig sabihin lang nito, any number, lahat ng number, if you raise it to 0, that is just equal to 1. Kasi, ito o, yung raise to, nirace mo siya to 0, ganito lang pala ang kalabasan yan o. Dinivide mo lang siya with the same number. Kaya, lalabas siya as 1. Okay, this is just a whole fraction. Diba? So, lahat lang yun ha. Lahat yun ha. Hindi lang yun uh, uh, 10. Hindi lang with 10. Lahat yun sa ibang numbers din. So, if you have 25 raised to 0, that is equal to 1. 35,000 kahit sobrang laki raised to 0 equals to 1 pa rin yan. 475 raised to 0 Ah, 0 pala, raised to 0. 475 raised to 0, that is still equal to 1. 999 raised to 0 is equal to 1. 680 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And 111 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay? And ang rule na ito is just the 0 power rule. So, tatandaan mo lang yan. Kapag raised to 0, lahat ng numbers, raised to 0 is just equal to 1. 1. Kahit pa lumaki pa yung number na yan. 1 pa rin yan. Alright? Now, balik tayo ulit dito. So, we have here 10 cube. That is 1,000, di ba? And then, 10 raised to 4 is 10,000. Now, paano kung ito ang gagawin natin? Divide natin yung 10 cube divided by 10 raised to 4. So, that is 1,000 over 10,000, di ba? And then, cancel yung tatlong 0. Cancel cancel. So, 1,000 divided by 10,000 is just 1 ten. ba? Diba? 1 over 10. Kasi ito na lang natira eh. Cancel yung tatlong zero. Tama, ba? Diba? Now, i-apply natin yung ginawa natin before. So, you have 10 um, 10 cube over 10 fourth is just equal to 10 raised to 3 minus 4. ba? Diba? Ganun ang ginagawa. Yung nasa taas Ima-minus mo yung nasa baba na exponent. So, this is 10 raised to 3 minus 4. So, 3 minus 
is a kulang, di ba? 3 minus 4 ay kulang ng isa. So, ang kalabasan nito, that would just be 10 raised to the negative 1. So, kasi 3 minus 4, negative 1 ay kulang, di ba? So, negative 1. So, ibig sabihin lang nito, if the number is raised to a negative power, bibigay mo lang yung reciprocal niya. Ilagayin mo na lang ito sa baba, tas yung 1 sa taas. Ah, kasi reciprocal ng 1 over, ng, ng, ng 1 over 10 is 10 over 1. So, yung 10 dito, um, automatic may 1 yan sa baba if you represent this with a fraction, di ba? So, 10 over 1. So, flip mo siya. Ang reciprocal ang gagamitin mo, that would be 1 over 10, pero tanggal yung negative niya. So, this is equal to 1 over 10. So, any negative uh, exponent, kuhanin mo na lang yung reciprocal. Ibaligtad mo na lang. So, nasa baba na siya, and then 1 na lang nasa taas, and wala na yung negative. Kasi, pareho lang naman itong dalawa eh. This one and this one are equal. ba? And then dito, in-apply lang natin yung rule na ima-minus lang kapag nag-division. So, ibig sabihin, 10 to the negative 1 is just equal to 1 tenth. ba? So, 5 to, neg to the negative 1 or raised to 1 okay, is just equal to 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. And then, 13 raised to negative 1 is just 1 over 13. And then, 22 to the negative 1. So, another way pala pag uh, sabi dyan minsan, sabihin, to the negative 1, uh, to the power of 2. Okay? So, maraming, maraming paraan. Okay. And then, this is 1 over 22. And then, 35 to the negative 1 is just equal to 1 over 35. Okay, so this is actually the negative power rule. So, para mawala yung negative mo, eh di ilagay mo na lang yan sa baba, oh. Okay, so the reciprocal na lang ang gagamitin mo, okay? Right, so we have here again 10 squared, which is 10 times 10. That is 100, diba? And then 10 cube is equal to 10 times 10 times 10, and that is equal to 1,000. And then 10 squared times 10 cube. Okay, this is just equal to dalawa muna, diba? 10 squared, 10 times 10. And then times, didagdag mo yung tatlo, diba? So this is equal to, okay. 100,000 kasi 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 na lahat ng 10, di ba? 100,000. Okay? So, kung titignan mo yung 2 dito at saka yung 3 dito, inad lang pala. Ayan, inad nga lang natin kasi dalawang beses dito, tatlong beses dito. Hindi, inad lang pala. So, another rule na naman to. Kapag i-multiply mo, i-add mo lang pala. Di ba? So, yung divide, kapag uh, i-divide mo, i-minus lang. Di ba? So, Pwede mo isulat ito as 10 squared times 10 cubed is equal to 10 raised to 2 plus 3. And then that is just equal to 10 raised to 5 and that is equal to 100,000. So, eto na ngayon dahil nag-multiply ka, this is now the product. Okay, let's try this example. So, ito, hindi ako gumamit ng 10. So, you have here 2 raised to 4. So, this is equal to, okay, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Kasi nga, apat na beses, i-multiply ang 2, ba? And this is equal to 16, ba? And then, we have here another one, 2 raised to 3. In this time, okay, tatlong beses, i-multiply ang 3, ah, uh, 2, sorry. So, you have there 2 times 2 times 2, and that is equal to 8, diba? So, if we're going to divide this, okay, pareho dun sa ginawa natin sa 10, i-minus na lang natin yan. So, 2 raised to 4 divided by 2 raised to 3 is just equal to, okay, 16 over 8, okay, so, Pakita muna natin yung ano, uh, value. So, 16 over 8, and this is just equal to 2. ba? And then, apply natin yung ginawa natin doon sa kabila with uh, base 10. Ngayon, base 2 na ang gagamitin, ba? Or ang ginamit. So, you have 2 raised to 4 over 2 raised to 3. So, apply natin yung rule, sabi, ba? 
uh, ima minus lang natin to. So, you have there 2 raised to 4 minus 3, di ba? Yan. So, 2 raised to 4 minus 3. So, 4 minus 3 is just equal to 1, di ba? So, this is equal to 2 raised to 1. And 2 raised to 1 is just equal to 2. So, ayan na siya. So, ito yung proof na kahit pa hindi 10, pwede siyang gawin. So, kapag ganito na pareho ang um, base niya, pareho ang base, okay? And then, nag, uh, nagde-divide ka, ima-minus mo na lang siya, and then you'll still get the right answer. And, etong paraan na to, okay, since this is division, this is what we call the quotient rule. Alright? So, um, kung tutuusin, kanina pa natin ito pinag-uusapan, kaya lang ngayon ko lang, inano na, this is what we call quotient rule. So, this time, ginamit ko is base 2. Okay? Right? Now, let's uh, try and solve some questions. So, we have here, what is the value of 6 squared? So, this is uh, multiplying 6 2 times. Kasi dalawang beses, di ba? Uh, since the exponent is 2, so this is just equal to 6 times 6, and that is 36. What is the sum of 4 raised to n plus 5 raised to n if n is equal to 2? Now, in this case, sabi n is equal to 2, kaya dapat yung 2 ipalit mo dito. Diba? So, originally, this is 4 raised to n plus 5 raised to n. Eh, since n is equal to 2, palitan mo itong dalawa. So, you have there 4 squared plus 5 squared. Tama, diba? Kasi pinalitan na natin yung 2. Ah, ng 2 ang n. Diba? So, 4 squared is just equal to 4 times 4, diba? And then, i-add natin ang 5 squared, which is 5 times 5. And, kapag gagawin mo to, since this one is equal to this, dapat unahin mo muna to, unahin mo rin to, bago mo i-add. Diba? So, kuhanin natin yung sagot dito. This is 16. Add natin with 5 times 5, which is 25. And then, the total is 41. Okay? So, in this case, dapat kung ano yung kasama nito, unahin mo, eto rin, pagsama mo dapat yan, bago mo i-add, so you'll get the right answer. Alright, in this case, we have it. 9 squared. So, the base is 9, di ba? And then, the exponent is 2. Yan. And then, the meaning of 7 cubed, dahil cube, tatlong beses, edi, i-multiply natin ang 7 ng tatlong Beses. Yun lang ibig sabihin nun. And then this one, 6 raised to 4 means 6 is multiplied by itself 4 times. Diba? And then, number 6, 121 is equal to 11 raised to 2. Okay, kasi 11 times 11 is just 121. And then, this one, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, yung 3 um, is multiplied by itself 5 times. So, the exponential form is just 3 raised to 5. Right? Okay, so lahat ng ito, okay, are just exponential form. So, this is just another way of writing down numbers. Instead of writing the numbers repeatedly uh, or multiplying the numbers repeatedly, gagamitan mo lang ng exponential form. So, this, it is a way of writing repeated multiplication of the same number. It is made up of the base and exponent. So, tandaan, it, it only has, it has only a base and exponent and the base is the number repeatedly multiplied or it is the factor repeatedly multiplied and then the exponent is the small number tandaan it's the small number high exponent on the upper right it is also called the index um in british british uh, english index ang tawag nila sa exponent pwede rin ang iba rin tinatawag itong the power or the order, okay? And then it tells you the number of times the base is multiplied or used as 
a factor. So, yun lang tandaan. Basta, yun yung maliit na number, yun ang exponent. At ito yung magsasabi sa'yo kung ilang beses i-multiply ang base ng paulit-ulit. Okay? And numbers in exponential form are also called exponential expressions. Okay? Huwag kayong magtaka kung meron silang iba't ibang paraan. Pareho lang din sa pagbasa, may iba't ibang paraan para basahin. Pero, all in all, ang pinag-usapan lang are exponents or exponential forms or exponential expressions. Alright?